everybody, my name is Miss Cat, and I'm a teaching artist for the Van Wezel. I'm super excited about today's project. We're going to explore how animals see the world, and then we're going to create a landscape using horse vision. Did you know that unlike humans, fish see clearly underwater? Their lens is spherical shaped and they can see red, green, and blue. However, sharks can't see any color, but they see much clearer than humans. Horses see only grays, yellows, and blues. They have a blind spot right in front of their faces. Rats see things in slow motion. Their vision is blurry and they can't see red. Dogs see only blue, violet, and many shades of gray. Insects have thousands of visual receptors and only see things in slow motion. Now that you know a little bit about animal vision, let's get started on our horse vision landscape. So for today's project, the art supplies that I'm going to use are oil pastels, a piece of drawing paper. You can use any type of paper that you happen to have. You could use watercolors, markers, even color pencils. Now horses, their vision, they see things in blues, yellows, and grays. And what I'm going to do, and you can follow along, I'm going to draw as if there's two trees here that the horse is seeing off in the distance a little bit but I'm just going to draw a line like that for the tree trunk and I'm going to come around like that and I'm going to draw another tree trunk here like that and around okay and then I'm going to draw it like that so it looks kind of like a pasture. Now I'm going to start to fill the tree in. I'm going to use some blues because that's what they're not seeing leafy green trees they're seeing blues and yellows. And I'm gonna come around it with yellow. Oil pastels are really nice because you can get them down on the paper quickly. Now, when it touches the blue, it turns a little bit green. But, and then the trunk, I'm gonna make, have it come down like that. And I'm gonna add some white to it, which will give it that gray look that the horse is seeing, like that. And I'll add some black in here. I might even add some branches. They probably see like that up in here. Okay. And then I'm going to add some more white in here so I get that variety of grays that they're seeing. Like that. And I'm going to add some yellows down here on the field, the pasture right because they're not seeing in green they're not seeing colors like we see them and then the background could even have blue clouds up in the background but remember what was the other thing about horse vision that was very interesting they have a blind spot so now right down the middle i think i'll add a little more yellow in here on my tree Okay, and maybe around in here. Okay, and now what do they have? They have this blind spot. So right down the middle of my drawing, look at this. I'm going to fill this in solid black because this is how they're seeing the world around them. They're not seeing it the way we do. Like that. So this really, to me, becomes very interesting because it's, a, it's almost like, to our eye, it's like an abstract painting and it's really fun. So you could add more, you could add more blues in and work on it some more. There could be more grays back in here, add some more white. I like to smudge it around a little bit. So it definitely, to our eye, has a very strong abstract look. But to a horse, this is normal for them. So this has been a really fun project. You can try um, doing landscape drawings of other animals and the type of vision that they use. I've had a really great time creating a horse vision landscape with you today. Be sure to share your artwork with family and friends. And until next time, artfully yours, Miss Cat. Take a picture of your artwork and post it on the Van Wezel Facebook page. School time at the Van Wezel. Hashtag artworks anywhere.